fighting for her life after police say she was beaten and stuffed into a black tote container alive. Officer made that gruesome discovery at a home on Cleveland's west side after they were tipped off by a woman who said the woman's attacker showed her photos of the assault. And according to police, he confessed. I'm going to warn you, this story is extremely graphic. See a, see a New Yorker is live now from Metro Health with details about the investigation. See ya. The details are disturbing. That woman was taken here to Metro Health, and as medical professionals work on her, she's been put on a ventilator, but she can rest assured that police say they've arrested the man that is responsible for this horrific crime. Behind the door of this house here on West 97th Street near Lorraine in Cleveland is what some are calling a house of horror. It's totally like mind blowing to know that stuff like this is extremely, extremely close to home. Last week, Cleveland police officers showed up here to this home twice after calls about a woman being tied up in the basement. Came out hysterical that a female was tied up in the basement of this address, a white female wearing a black and white jacket, white t-shirt, light colored jeans. According to Cleveland police, when officers got on the scene, they met 31-year-old Delante Edmund Geiger, who after some back and forth, allowed them to search the home. When officers didn't find anything, they cleared the scene and left. Fearing for her life, police say the woman met them nearby at a church, where she told them Edmund Geiger told her he beat stabbed and killed a woman, then showed her photos of the victim on his phone. When police went back to the house, officers heard what sounded like a heavy object being dragged across the front porch and moaning calls for help. That's when they found a woman stuffed and folded inside of a three by three plastic container, her body motionless with the lid sealed. Six year old female, she said she's paralyzed. She's shoved in a small tone from a prison mover. Miraculously, the woman was still alive and told police she was paralyzed and in pain. She was taken to Metro Health with life-threatening injuries. Edmund Geiger was arrested and has been charged with kidnapping, attempted murder, felonious assault, and tampering with evidence. Neighbors are in shock, saying they had no idea. Nothing that was out of the ordinary. I walk my dog daily, just nothing that would have made me think that, you know, something was going on right here. I really hope and pray that she pulls through. Nobody deserves, you know, that. And I'm just praying for all of us. Edmund Geiger remains in jail on a half a million dollar bond. He's due in court later this month. Now, as for that survivor, we are all protecting her identity and hoping that she pulls through. We'll keep you updated on air and online. Reporting live on Cleveland's west side, CN New Yorker, 19 News.